I'm going to show you how to model this skull in Blender in less than 10 minutes. Hello and welcome to episode 120 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. I'll be jumping onto the Infensia Discord server weekly modeling challenge again where the theme is fear. Not fear, <laughs> not beard, it's fear. So I'm going to be modeling a low poly skull. I'm going to be building on what I learned last week. Short intro to the point. Let's get going. Ready? Steady? Go. Yep, we're off. I always have to check. Control 2, uh, subdivision modifier, and then we'll apply this one. Control A on the right here. Uh, we'll go to edit and auto mirror, control one on the keypad, and actually I'm going to grab this one, same, pretty similar to last week, with proportional, drag this down, we've got a skull face thingy over here, so here's the head shape for our low poly skull, that's it, we'll color it white still while we're at it, pretty white anyway, up here, and let's go front view, scale, we can't have it round like that, even though I like round stuff, and square stuff for that matter. And then we'll uh, bring this in because we're going to have the eye socket here. We're going to be different because I'm going to be splitting this skull. Sounds pretty brutal, but I'll do, I'll do it for the for the sake of modeling. C GG, slide this one up. Control G, no, Control R, loop cut here. And then we're going to be bringing this in a little bit too. Actually, I'll go from here to here. Bring all of this into there and here. That's it. And now I'm going to be doing... An eye, eye to inset, aha, eye to inset for the eye. Very not funny. Delete faces. And not the whole face, just those ones. And then we'll grab those. See, I'm doing a, making a hole here now. It's a, on a whole new level. Ooh, it's raining in now. Terrible, but I'm okay with that. I've never had any good jokes, my kids keep telling me. That wasn't even a joke, so, huh, joke's on you. All right, I'm actually going to uh, create a hole in the skull now. Not in the whole skull. Ha. Huh. Okay, I'm going to stop it now. Uh, delete faces. There. And this should be... I'm going to separate the jaw now. Let's grab these up to here. Yep. Y. That detaches them. And then I can m maybe bring them down a little bit. G. Okay, this looks a little bit hideous. Looks a bit comical, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to scale that, apparently. Uh, and now I'm, I'm going to fold this up into the skull here. Let's reshape it, because I think the jawbone is connected to the head bone. And there we go. Scale it down. And G will just reshape this to there. And I think we can put the solidify modifier. I'm going to make space for some teeth here as well. And we'll have some time, because 737 is not the aircraft we're talking about. I'm speaking about the time here, because I still have some time. Let's make it a little bit meaner, like this. And I think we can already slap the solidify modifier on them. So let's go to the stack here, add modifier, solidify, and then uh, maybe just to there. So now we've got to, a bit to work with here. G to move, and I just have to like keep refining this a little bit. And I like to do it so, like, I don't know, gets a little bit of an overly aggressive fold here on the skull, maybe. Okay, that should do. And we have to have, like, a nose thing here. So maybe eye to inset for the nose. Scale. Okay, that's uh, proportional off scale. Z. G, scale. G, uh, I'll delete this one. Delete faces. And... That looks pretty comical, so let's make it less comical looking. <laughs> G, because now with the solidify modifier, we've got some angle, like the angles here will matter. G, G, G. Okay, this is looking too wide, too funky, too weird, too strange. Um, maybe something like that. I can refine this uh, later on if I have time. Maybe I'll do... Some weird fold here. I don't know really. I don't think that this uh, is meant to be like this. But I don't know. Maybe something like that. <laughs> okay, I should have checked uh, anim anatomy first. Hold on, I'll feel. Yep. I think uh, it's pretty pretty decent. Probably not. An anatomy specialist happen to be watching this channel now and going, what is this? That Well, that made me look even worse. G, G. All right. So let's just make sure we're okay with this all right now i'm gonna make teeth because maybe that's why it's looking so funny uh control r should i do this maybe i don't know it's got a big uh big uh, jaw going on there huh no i'll skip that one for now 
Uh, but I'll, I'm going to do teeth. So I think it is it because this is so pointy. That, oh, well, never mind. Teeth it was. Five. I've wasted like a lot of precious time here. Shift. There we go. E to extrude. And I'll move them up to here. And then I'll grab these. Y to detach them. That's why. And then move them out a little bit. There. Because I'm going to have them like coming outside on this. And then we have to control R here a bit because I'm going to make multiple teeth. Control R, loop cut. Maybe like this. And then I'm going to bevel these so I can delete the middle faces. Control B. And just delete those faces. And then I have to disable clipping so I can move this tooth in a little bit. And down. And here we go. I've got some seriously loud birds outside my window now. They always time it. All right, I'm going to make the teeth overlap like this a little bit, like this. We can put some lights on this as well, so it looks cooler. And we'll do the same for the upper jaw here, but I'm not so happy with this yet. So G, 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 G. Scale these down. Maybe this needs to come down. Oh, oh clipping. I know when I've done that. That's just it. All right, so how am I doing? Gee, that looks meaner, doesn't it? And this in, out, I don't know. Ah, okay, I can twiddle, twiddle, do, twiddle, twiddle, do later on. Uh, let's grab these. E to extrude it down to there, possibly. G, yeah. Control plus, expand that on the keypad. So you don't have a keyboard, you're screwed. And then Y to detach them, control R. We'll do two front teeth there. That might look a bit funny, but I don't know. <laughs> We'll have to try. Uh, shift select a bunch of these and I'll do the same thing here. Control B to bevel. Delete. Delete. And then clipping, which I must not forget to put back on. G. And we can maybe sh like smooth it. Maybe I'll do this tooth a bit thinner there and wider there. Skip. Skip. What? What am I talking about? I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm not scared. Or am I? Um, could be. All right, so I'm actually going to be bringing these up a little bit because I think uh, when you look on the skeleton part of things, you see them a bit like this. Plus, it looks a little bit more intimidating, maybe. Or maybe it just looks silly. What do I know? 244. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I doing? There we go. All right, so there we go. And I, we could shade this smooth and stuff now. All right. I'm not liking this uh, excessive jaw here. So. Okay, clipping. I knew I was going to forget it. I always forget it. It's just me. There we go. And... That's it. Two minutes. Okay, it's possibly a little bit too thick in the back here. Scale Y, G, and then we'll just move this whole thing in. G, I think that's a bit better. And like, why the sad face? That's what I'm asking. So I'm gonna bring this down. It's not sad anymore, is it? Little changes, big, uh, big changes. So what I always say, I've never said that before. Now I just said it. I'm recording yeah okay so there we go i'm gonna make a copy of it because i'm gonna try to do should we try to do shift a and three and then shade smooth possibly could be a bit better and now let's uh, go z rendered okay let's change the background color because i did this briefly in my last video so i should be all right and then slap a strong light in the middle point light there we go mean change the lights to maybe an orange Boost up, maybe a thousand. Yeah, there we go. Got some cool lights now. And I've got a minute to go, so I'll do the usual Shift D to duplicate. More red on this side. Shift D to duplicate and blue because that looks cool. And then uh, it's very shiny. Um, maybe we'll go down to 500 here. And it, that does multi change, so let's go to there as well. And I've got 38 seconds, so we'll do shifty. And I think it looks scarier if you go light from underneath a little bit. And these have to be maybe only 50 and 50. 
also there and there. And these are two. 13 seconds to go. What is that? I've changed the background to it. And then we can uh, decide maybe we want to control two. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not that maybe. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we've got this, uh, ourselves a skull here. And I, pr I pressed control two to apply the subdivision <laughs> modifier and Let's, uh, I'll just save this first, control S. Okay, so I applied the subdivision modifier. It looked a bit funny, control two. That looks a, a little bit not so cool. So let's go back to here. I think I'm gonna do material preview first because I did notice that I see this split here. It sort of nearly works for this um, model, but it's because I had, uh, here, clipping. I had it disabled, so I split the mesh. So it needs to move into there. That's it, it's glued again. And that could very well be the case somewhere else too. Maybe we'll do that too. So, yeah, and with the solidify modifier, actually you get a solid mesh. And if you needed to convert this for export to a game engine, you could just um, maybe uh, apply it. So you could do like this, hover over this this one, uh, control. Okay, you can't be in edit mode, control A. Now it's converted it to a full mesh if you do need to change the thickness of these things. But I'm going to keep it on for now so we can, because then it's pretty handy to make the changes. Uh. For these teeth as well, I'll probably select these and then pull them down a bit. Or maybe I wouldn't. Okay, period, individual, individual origins. Yeah, I think you'd have to play a little bit with that to make it better. So the teeth aren't like great. I don't know if they should be on the outside or inside or something. And if they should be changeable. But overall, it's, I mean, the skull probably would work in, maybe this one needs to go up as well. No, oh yeah, that's probably too much. Bring it in, maybe that's better. All right, you could tweak this forever. Probably not forever, because it got pretty annoying. Uh, you know. You could probably also change the meanness of the eye here. Let's go. Or no. Confused? Angry. Confused, angry, tired, surprised, very surprised, <laughs> okay, maybe not. What happens if we put chrome on it then? How about that? So we'll do rendered, check this out, control two because or control five. Let's just grab the teeth here. I want, I'm going to turn it into a chrome skull as well. Final, final bonus. So shift select a bunch of these. There we go, and these, because the teeth uh, went a little bit funny when I did that. Scale Z, maybe like, i have to make them bigger like that. And then let's put just Chrome on for fun. It's select everything, G. And we've got a shiny Chrome skull. Should it be black? Maybe like this. Probably not black. White. Okay, the teeth look like hilarious, of course. Maybe I'd have to... Let's try to rectify it a bit. Control R. Bonus content here. S scale. And then you probably have to control R. Okay, control R. You can get the edges sharper and stuff by control R-ing, I usually call it. R. So we can try... So, because with the solidify modifier, you'd have to ex like do a little bit more extreme color, uh, shapes here, I think. And then maybe we have to exaggerate this as well. Who knows? This should I pull this in then? Control R. 
Let's make it more prominent here or something. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. But that's okay. Alright, you can probably mess around a little bit more now. Ooh, okay. You should probably have like do something like that. Whoa. I I don't even see what I'm doing here. But it looks pretty mean. I don't I have no clue about this part here. That's probably totally wrong. Dent, dent the chromey face here. Okay, that looks stupid. Hey, he looks surprised again. Oh, okay, I don't know. Final thing. What should I do? Final, final touch here. It's a bit. All right, the teeth look a bit funky, of course. Eyes are too big and looks like kidney beans. <laughs> I'll still save it and put it on my Patreon along with the other one as a bonus one. How about that? All right, that's going to be it for this week, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And, ho ho and head over to the Infancia Discord server. Link in the description. Until next week, have a great one. And I'll see you then. Bye for now. Ooh.